What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. This shit is not for kids. We have a new video here today, guys, and it's not really a video. I mean, it is a video, but you know, I'm more of going to be just discussing some stuff. We're going to be talking about some things moving forward, coming into the next, you know, year or whatever. You know, who who knows? I mean, 2019 is about to come to an end. 2020 is coming. A lot of changes coming to the platform of YouTube. A lot of things going on around the world right now. And uh, right here, right now on the MDT channel, we, uh, we're going to be discussing the MDT pick fed you guys know MDT live vindication pink bland the pink brand blue brand what's going forward you know I, I know a lot of people ask me a lot of the times I actually get this question a lot so I figured why not make a video about it and today guys we're going to be discussing when will the MDT pick fed end slash is it going to end after my damn nation with the big mania pay-per-view you guys know it's not this pay-per-view it's the next pay-per-view we have MDT Hell's Gate we have our six episodes of you know MDT television and and then it will be time for the biggest pay-per-view of them all. But today we're pretty much just going to be discussing, you know, that that exact thing right there. When will the MDT pick fed end? Will it end after My Damn Nation? What's my thoughts? What's my play? Oh, God, my throat's got like, just stuff inside of it. And my freaking just dry and I just need to get some water. But anyways, diving into it, guys. MDT Hell's Gate is coming very soon. We'll have Vindication Episode 16, MDT Live 16, Vindication 17, MDT Live 17, Vindication 18, and then MDT Live 18 and then it will be My Damn Nation. And following My Damn Nation, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that we do have uh, storylines planned. God in heaven! We do have storylines planned out. We, Me and Brad, back in, what was it, 2016? Was it 2016? 2017? I think it was 2017. Yeah, 2017. Uh, the I think it was like the spring of 2017. Me and Brad, Taylor, whatever you want to call him. We got together, and I don't know what, like I had never really watched Pick Feds before. And I said, you know what, Brad? Let's, get, let's do this show thing. Like, why don't we do this thing where we like you know have matches and stuff like that so I kind of looked around I found pick feds and I was like okay that's cool whatever but I was like you know I kind of want to add entrance music and I kind of want to do commentary and I want to do sound effects and I want to do it like a real show like I wanted to feel like you're watching a real wrestling show so the MDT pick fed was born all the stuff happened we you know created our brands I didn't want you know Raw and Smackdown I'm going to kill my throat I didn't want Raw and Smackdown I didn't want you know the same old same old cookie cutter stuff I wanted to do my own deal where I had my own titles, my own brands, my own logos, my own everything. And so that is what we set out to do. We did exactly that. We created MDT Live and Vindication. And uh, we set off on our journey. We had our draft. We had our everything. Uh, of course, the first episodes were terrible. The first pay-per-views were terrible. I'll be honest with you. You know, we, we were learning the grind. We were learning how to pick fed. We were learning how to pose. We were learning how to edit. You know, my editing back then wasn't near as good as it is now. Um, you know, with experience and grinding. And, and getting a little bit better every single day. That's the thing, guys. If you if you get 1% better every day, it's like, oh, I didn't get that be much better today. But then you add it up over time and look how much progress you will make. So we did that and we did that and it has led up to this moment and we, we have outstanding you know uh, support and uh, and feedback on the pick fed and we appreciate it so very much. It's amazing. I freaking love it. And I will tell you that the from the start of the pick fed, I say all this, the reason I'm telling you all this is because the screen script has literally been written out. Everything that you see on MDT Live and Vindication, uh, pretty much to a T, has been written out and scripted out for the last two, two and a half years. So, like, pretty much everything has been to a T to the script, and so it's hard to write stuff in because we don't want to mess anything up, and we don't want to cause any problems or frictions like WWE does when they t try to book everything all at once with new things. Like, just because I get a new figure, I don't want to just rush him into the show. You know, we just got Buddy Murphy, right? I'm not just going to force Buddy Murphy into the pick fed, like, you know, just to do it. Like, that's idiotic, that's dumb, and that's how you write terrible television like WWE. I tell this to people all the time. It's like, Brad, Kenny Omega's been champ for two years. It's like, yes, but you have to, if you go and you watch the draft, say you watch the draft on a Sunday, okay? You watch the draft, the MDT draft, watch it on a Sunday, watch Vindication Episode 1 on Monday, watch MDT live episode one on Tuesday and then wait a week and then the next Monday watch Vindication episode two and MDT live episode two and then keep doing that and then uh, on pay-per-views make it that next Sunday after the third episode of MDT live and you do that formula and then you will see a calendar set out where it you know it like follows a formula if I could get these shows out weekly uh, who, who knows who the hell would be champion who knows what kind of feuds and crazy stuff would have happened up till this point that's not realistic right now I like to 
do the TV televisions. I would do, you know, pay-per-views every single month if I could. And if I would, you know, it, it, it may come to that one day. Who knows? But for this juncture, I like to do the TV shows so that we can get the storylines progressed. We can show you the guys how the storylines unfold, the promos, the everything in between. So that is the reason that we do the weekly television shows. However, um, what I was saying was, is if you watch them on a week-to-week -week basis, then uh, it will be, a, it's a lot cooler. Like, I know it takes a while up to this point, but if somebody were to just watch the pick fed just now and they watched it on a weekly basis like I'm telling you to and then on Sunday then uh, it would plan out perfectly and it I think it would be I think you would really see how the storylines unfold better I hope you guys can see it anyways but that's just you know what I'm thinking there so when me and Brad started the pick fed we were like you know what you know this is what we're gonna do we're gonna start this thing and uh, we're gonna have this script written out and we're not gonna defer from it and we have not deferred from it to this point and you know the script is actually written up until uh it's written up to My Damn Nation, and then after that, we have little ideas that we want to sprinkle in, because you got to think, between the time that we've started till now, we've said, oh, we need to do this, we need to do this, like planning for the future, so that is uh, that that is something, like, yes, we do have some things that we want to do after My Damn Nation, and so, you know, I already, I already know the next pay-per-view after My Damn Nation, I'm not going to tell you just yet, because I do want to wait a little while, you know, I want to let that fester, and if you guys knew, like, all the, se like, do you realize how many secrets I've had? to keep for two and a half years since the beginning of the pick fed i have literally had to put stuff in my brain lock it away and me and brad discuss it all the time we have to literally discuss it with each other and that's actually not all guys do you realize that when i do like room tours and like show you guys around the room sometimes i have to hide stuff like i will hide stuff from you in the room because it has to do with the pick fed it's like leaked images and leaked stuff all over the room i have to literally take knowledge of that in my brain so i don't ruin stuff so you don't see a custom or see something chilling in the corner or scripts you know I me mean? things i have to move like i have scripts everywhere in this room because i'm always constantly writing down ideas and jotting down things because i don't want you to guys to see it in a post or an instagram story or something to leak images and you know info about the mdt pick fed before we because we can't tell anybody we can't tell anybody because we don't want to ruin it for anybody we want it to be a surprise we want anything that shows up on the pick fed to be a surprise just like real life we don't want any dirt sheets leaks and stuff like that so is is the when will the mdt pick fed end is it I, I i couldn't tell you i don't i don't know i don't know when the mdt pick fed will end will it end after my damn nation i don't want it to but i can tell you this after after my damn nation it is definitely going to be break time i'm gonna definitely have to take you know a month and a half off at least or maybe even two months off at least just to to, uh, just to recover from that show because you guys know after big pay-per-views like after the Royal Rumble it took a lot out of me man it, it took so much out of me mentally physically emotionally I was drained completely um, it, it was tough and so I'm definitely going to be taking a mental break after My Damn Nation and I don't know how long that'll be we're probably going to do a superstar shakeup. I'm sure after My Damn Nation that is definitely in the works I can tell you that uh, there will be a draft slash shakeup that will take place after My Damn Nation and uh, after My Damn Nation the first two shows, Vindication and MDT Live, following My Damn Nation will be two big shows, you know, like, we'll make them exciting, just like Raw and SmackDown after WrestleMania, and so we have a lot of ideas playing, we have a lot of stuff going on in the thing, and, and on the shows, and everything in the scripts, and I'm excited for them, I can't wait for you guys to see them unfold, I can't wait for you guys to see MDT Live 15 that uh, most likely will not go up tomorrow because I didn't get it completely finished so I had to cry myself asleep but I am going to finish it today there's literally not that much left but you know I, I stayed up very very late for you guys I stayed up to like 4 a.m. trying to finish it I couldn't get it done you know I, I, I gotta go to sleep I gotta sleep you know and you guys are always telling me to sleep so I definitely wanted to get some sleep in there so I got some sleep in and I'm gonna finish that thing today and then we're going to uh, start editing it. And I just don't think I can finish the show filming and then edit it all and then get it up uh, tomorrow. It's just not realistic unless I stay up all the way until it's posted at 5 a.m., which I guess is possible, but I, I just don't see that happening. It's just... Not good. Again, you don't want me to get mentally, emotionally, physically drained. And uh, as soon as MDT Live 15 goes up, we will be making our uh, all of our Hell's Gate like uh, you know preparations. Because then after, because I, I know as soon as you know MDT Live 15 goes up, you guys are going to be like, when's Hell's Gate? When's Hell's Gate? When's Hell's Gate? When's Hell's Gate? And you know it's gonna. You, you know, I'm trying. I'm gonna do my best once MDT Live goes up to get it out as quickly as possible. Uh, we're gonna do an arena tour. We're gonna do a match card breakdown and predictions and everything like that so you guys can kind of tell uh there are going to be some things involving you guys that i need your help with so you're definitely 
going to have to stay tuned. And you have to watch MDT Live 15. It's the go-home show for Hell's Gate. Going to be the last show before then. Like I said, we're going to do the arena tour for Hell's Gate. We're going to do the match card predictions. And after the match card predictions and match card breakdown, I have a few other videos playing. Like, I think I'm going to get 2K20. I'm going to plug that hoe into the PS4. We're going to do a 2K simulation of all the entire match card and see who comes out on top on 2K just to, you know, just for shits and giggles, just to see, you know, who who wins on, on 2K. I think that would be a fun little challenge. We'll run through the entire match card. Then we're uh, then it's going to be up to you guys to make your own predictions. And during those predictions, whoever gets the most correct or if you get, if you know, 10 people get all of the matches, predict uh, you know, they predict them correctly, then your name will go into a drawing and we're going to give away something. So that is just something to take note of. And I will like, watch, and comment on every single predictions video that you guys make. A lot of people did it for the Royal Rumble, so I expect you guys to do the same thing for Hell's Gate. Very excited. Lots of stuff going on, but as far as the MDT pick fed is concerned, it is not going anywhere as long as I'm, you know, right here, and as long as this channel's alive, the pick fed will stay alive. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit to get the shows out, but you know what? I grind on them every single day, and I work towards them a little bit in some way. You know, if I don't take pictures, I'm doing something else revolving around the pick fed, whether it be scripting, whether it be customizing, whether it be something. I'm always doing something pick fed related every single day and I hope you guys uh, know that I do work hard on them and I try my best to get them out on a timely fashion it's just sometimes things don't work out and you know it is what it is again if I can hire a team one day I'll hire a freaking team and, and I'll just get those bitches out every single week but until that day you know I, I, I don't know what to tell you I'm a one man working crew and I get things done as, as fast as I freaking can I deny sleep I push myself and sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't but uh, my damn nation is going to be fire when we get there hell Gates first, bunch of weekly television, get through that, and uh, we do have the pay-per-view plan for After My Damn Nation, and let me just say, holy Christ in hell, I'm freaking ready for it, like, I, I tell, I tell Brad every day, because we talk about it, I'm like, Jesus Christ, let's, let's get there, let's get there, let's get there, I, I want to be there just as bad as you guys do, but, you know, it's, it, there's limitations, we gotta, you know, we gotta be smart about it, but that is gonna do it for today's video, guys, I know I kinda ranted a little bit, I kinda just got away from the question a few times, but I hope you guys did stay all to the end, if you have stayed all the way to the end, hit me with a my damn hell's gate down in the comment section below let me know if you're gonna make some predictions videos and just uh yeah just keep on farting in bags and smelling it and i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much subscribe for more epic wwe pick fed figure fart bags shit shit salad and just stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you